facts. Ex Machina by Sound Iron, everybody. A seven string electric guitar for the full version of Contact with six articulations all within one key switchable multi patch, both for the amp and the DI signal. It's 32 gigabytes in size, with the main patches taking up to two gigabytes of RAM. There are light patches with less round robins that bring it down to under 500 MB in case you're on a less powerful computer or laptop. Besides the playable guitar, there's a rhythmic sequencer plus an effects rack with 27 modules, including prepared presets for instant results. And if I had to summarize Ex Machina with three words, Words, it would be chunk me baby. Hey, my name is Kevin Kuschel, and after almost two years of uploading YouTube videos on my quest of becoming a professional composer, you finally get to see me in person. Just smile and wave, boys. Let's go. Ex Machina, what a wonderful name, is the sampled version of Craig Peters' custom Kiesel Arius 7 string. It's made to slap us with heavy metal destruction and comes with six articulations. Open and muted single notes. Open and muted power chords. And pinch harmonics. There are also effects like scrapes and slides and so on. Chunky electric guitars are not only used in rock and heavy metal genres, but these days they're also frequently utilized in film and video game soundtracks. Think about Mick Gordon, for example, who created a legendary signature sound with his Doom soundtrack. But guitars are also used in trailer music, epic cinematic and hybrid orchestral music, whenever you need to fire up the intensity of your composition. Now, I'm a huge heavy metal fan and have thousands of listening hours under my belt. But be aware that I haven't produced any rock or metal myself before, nor used any other deep sampled electric guitar VST, at least none that goes beyond epic cinematic trailer effects. So while I do play the electric guitar at an amateur level, in this video I won't get too technical, but instead focus on what you can achieve with Ex Machina as a non-guitarist composer. Sorry guitar nerds, Ex Machina comes with a sleek, three-part interface. In the top third, you can shape the sound with attack and release envelope options, set the volume and dynamics with the center knob, and control the vibrato. All of these parameters are mappable to knobs and wheels on a MIDI controller. The center third organizes the articulation slots, the key switches, and individual volumes. It's nice that you can save and load your favorite settings for other instances of Ex Machina, even in other projects. The bottom third houses very handy settings on how you play the library. You can switch between alternate picking, down and up strokes, and fire up two guitars in dual mode. The panning can be controlled with the sliders, or even easier by dragging the guitar icons. In the main patches, the keyboard layout shows the range of each string, as well as the notes where they overlap. You can force a specific string by activating it here. This is super nice if you have a riff that you want to play in a specific way. And if it's too complicated for your needs, just use the simple patches. There are different play modes in addition to the normal one. Repeat, for example, triggers the note again when releasing it while holding the sustain pedal and is great for fast tremolo picking. Strum helps with chord stirring patterns using the red keys on the right.
and legato and hammer connect the notes as long as you're on the same string, of course. The settings here apply to the selected articulation. One handy feature is the latching versus temporary key switch mode. Latching means that you press a key switch and the articulation switches until you press another key. Temporary, on the other hand, only switches it as long as you hold the key switch and then goes back to the previous articulation. There's a sequencer slash arpeggiator where you can set a rhythmic pattern while also controlling the down and up strokes and the articulation. This is perfect for setting up some killer rhythm guitar patterns. <laughs> Lastly, there's an effects rack that holds up to 8 modules. X Machina has a lot of versatility. Depending on the effect settings, you can make it sound distorted and chunky, <laughs> clean, and even funky. Ex Machina is both a very capable and coming at under 100 US dollars also a quite affordable sample library. The sound is fat and relentlessly beefy and it immediately infuses some serious heavy metal into my compositions. To me, Ex Machina truly shines when played as a chunky low rhythm guitar. I'm not a guitar pro. But I can feel that this library was made by one. And in many use cases, it sounds pretty close to the real thing, especially when put into the context of a mix. It's pure joy for me to play distorted riffs and rhythms, and the sequence has a great utility tool to build rhythmic patterns. I'd like to give extra credit for allowing control over the stroke direction and articulations for each rhythm step in the sequencer in such a simple way. It's nothing super complex, but underlines that X Machina not only sounds great, but is also easy to use. Sound Iron further proves this usability concept by including including additional simple patches that allow you not having to bother about the different strings and what notes to play them with. At the same time, you can bother, and that's good. With over 30 gigabytes of content, this is quite a deep sampled guitar. Not only can you shape the sound with those envelope options, but also load entire different effects racks to completely change up the mood. By the way, X Machina's PDF manual explains what each effects module does down to the single knob. Very handy. X Machina's different playing modes help a lot with things like fast tremolo picking and chord strumming and the user interface doesn't feel overwhelming to me as a composer who has only little experience with sample guitars. I imagine that translating the expressiveness of melodic lead guitar lines is a huge challenge in a virtual instrument. Ex Machina offers a few tools to help here. Mapping the dynamics to the mod wheel gives me some control over how intense I want the melody to sound. And the adjustable vibrato works well for me when breathing some life into longer notes. The nice and natural note fade outs add to this. The point where I notice the most that I'm playing a virtual instrument and not a real one is the legato transitions in the high registers. Especially in rapid note successions, I think some of the expressiveness and life is lost a bit compared to how a real player would perform. Don't get me wrong, it's still usable, especially if added to a composition where a lot of other elements are played. And I think this holds true for most solo instrument libraries. Just be aware of that when mocking up your next Carlos Santana solo. Overall, Ex Machina is a fantastic package of brutal sounds, great usability, and tons of composer fun. Really, it's super fun to play around with that library. You can buy Ex Machina on SoundIron's website, currently for 79 US dollars, with a regular price of 99. That's a really good price for an awesome library. I wrote a little, excuse me, Massive demo with X Machina. It's my first rock or metal demo ever. So also make sure to check out some of the official ones made by more experienced virtual guitar composers. Raise your horns and I will see you soon. <laughs>